down near Valdosta as it stands, and I have a sword in a ship. Now, at the beginning of this day, it was dull with a handle that, quite frankly, did not want to be a handle. It wanted to be a free flying object in the wind. Which I guess I've created here, haven't I? Um, wind. Call me a god. But what I'm a god of is being real damn hot. Obviously, I need to put gloves on if I'm going to be storing something like this because. Well, I think it's pretty self evident why a sharp object and bare hands don't go together. Um, I've been wearing this so my hair doesn't get as much in my eyes. Completely, basically just rebuilt a sharpened edge, or tip I mean, from what was essentially a square, honestly. I couldn't tell you if this was an optimal way to do it. I really just can't. It's just um, what I'm working with. And as you can see, my hands aren't exactly the steadiest. That's why I have gloves on. Hoping nothing goes wrong. If it does, guess that just adds to Aiden being an idiot number 287, ain't it? Been using the file to see how this works out. It's made it sharper, no doubt, but to be fair, I was working with very little at the start of all this. Hoping I can get some good footage of using it. But I'm not sure exactly how sharp it is. I'm not sure I'd test that. I'm not even sure if what I'm doing is truly correct. So, we'll see how it all shakes out. At the very least, I'm going to make it go from butter knife to dull knife. Might be a little bit thin, damn. Uh, that's not great. I can see, I can try and operate with it, I guess. Price here is kind of hard to work with. This bits, these bits of steel out of here. I don't want to drop it. Yeah, my entire workstation's kind of fall to pieces. Right, it'd be worse in Atlanta, you know, all the hills. Let's see if I can't sharpen this anymore. Single pause. Oh. Guess I'll need to. I'm not scared of myself.
suppose it's in good enough order to try and cut with now. Took off its grip right here. Thought it was stupid. So I put it with the katana basically. Let's see if it'll pause this time. Do your job. Okay, I think I found a good area around here. You might have to be able to see. Take a look. Start with that tree right there. Can you see that? Okay, I don't think you can. Um, so I'll have to reposition you just a bit. See. going to be using trees that not this isn't like some environmentally killing thing these trees are going to be cut down anyway because human development or whatever so i'm just going to have trees that we cut anyway and yes they are live so sorry tree argus not quite sharp enough to cut through anything significant that's alive. Let's see if I can find something dead. Practice this kind of, <laughs> frankly, idiocy on. This might, might be able to get whacked through. I'll see what I can do. Okay. <laughs> yes! I hope you all saw that. Um, I did not account for you maybe not seeing that, and I can't really review that footage now. How living is this? You could probably see this. Run. That's way too thick, I think. Yes, we can see how the stabbing goes. Stabbing edge of it. And the answer is. Certainly better than it started. See, if I were to make a cut across this, well, I'd say that's on bark. I don't have any precise measurement. Maybe a millimeter thick. Needless to say, um, <laughs> if you got hit by that, it'd probably hurt. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> doing this kind of stuff makes you feel like a bit of a badass, I'll be honest. And that's a little bit of why I'm doing all this, where I'll just... Hope that was as good feeling for the people on the other end of that camera as it was for me. And... Once again, sorry to the tree huggers out there, but these things are coming down anyway. Better to have fun doing it than have a bunch of bad memories about it. Yeah. I think I'm in a bit of chigger heaven right here. Though I really haven't reached the spot where it's the worst. And yes, as you can see, where I was concerned about safety earlier, I've decided to take the um, certified retarded approach and say flip-flops with a sword is a good idea. Because apparently my lack of awareness is funding me or something. I don't think that limb is gonna get cut through, at least not easily. Shit. Oh, really knock my damn eye out. You know, I, I think I've gotten your message, Mr. Tree. Um, you can live. Now, this one's kind of super dead. That, it's hollow too. God, it's pretty damn bad. 
but this is basically just a dull knife as it stands. So it's not really set to cut thicker stuff. Yeah, it's it's a whacker. Let's get let's get real. It, it whacks. But it feels like it cuts. Look at that. Even with all this handle fixing, it's just not great. It's quite marginal, I'll be real. That could be why it ends up feeling like it whacks a lot more than cuts, just because of this damn handle. I swear, we got a damn good handle. You can get some great results, but unfortunately, as it stands, the handle has decided to, or rather, to not do its job. So, I have a bit of a sharper whacker. That has, <laughs> it has a crit chance. I guess that's a way to put it. It seems like I'm getting pretty unlucky with these random crits. So I guess its usefulness is kept about the same as something that would whack a bunch smaller branches out of the way. So maybe it'll get through this here. Then that one had a shield. Not fair, no fair. You can't have shields. Hey, maybe it'll, yeah, knock spark off. Really, um, restoration certainly could be done by a more skilled talent and have far better results. I'll admit that much. Um, especially this handle here. A professional redo of this handle is most certainly in order to actually make this a worthwhile tool. It stands all it is right now is a bootleg katana whose handle does not want to be filling its role or rather has its filling not wanting to achieve its role dang it's bent already Let's see if i can bend it back oh god um that is underwhelming well it's nearly the end of the day honestly so i can't even say the end of the day what do you do what I do is I go on a fucking rest, you know? It's like... What am I meant to do? I've been at this darn thing since about 1, 2 o'clock, really. It's not like I have other recourse, really. It's just plain... What can I possibly do? You know? Certainly...
saddening. Sorry.